Let's also open up A plus crate. Let's go. Let's do this, peeps. This is the first time where we're gonna open up A plus hard mode laboratory crate, whatever you want to call it. Hey guys, it is me, Hepusarik, and welcome back to Last in Earth Survival. So today we're gonna be clearing the new laboratory in hard mode bunker. I have here a little bit of weapons. I brought with me a couple of reanimators because I've heard some rumors that the second boss in the laboratory is pretty hard and it can insta kill you. So hopefully I am going in prepared. So without any further ado, let's activate the hard mode laboratory. I wanted to say hard mode bunker but this is hard mode laboratory let's drop the seaweed to get some energy to fill up those bioreactors and let's hop to the second floor so i've already tried clearing hard mode laboratory a little bit i've gotten a couple of those a plus crates i have never opened up any of these a plus crates but hey maybe today is going to be the day when we will open up that a plus crate so for those who don't know hard mode laboratory is kind of hard but hey, i'm gonna get the agility perk that's the only way Oh, now I'm gonna be able to clear it. Here go, we've got an agility perk. So with this agility perk, zombies miss quite a lot. So here go, let's activate it. There are also other perks, but I, I do like agility. Agility, in my opinion, is the best perk. So enemies' maximum health is increased by 15%. That's kind of bad. Enemies take 50% less damage with melee weapons. That sucks a lot. Enemies will notice you even in stealth mode. That, that's terrible. Enemies' attack restore 10 to 25%. Enemies' attack... Enemies' attack restore 10 to 25%. Enemies attack restore 10 to 25 of their health points. Uh, that's bad. So yeah, basically the terrible combination for those who want to clear this place with melee weapons. But you cannot really clear this place with melee weapons anyways. Oh no, I forgot that they've also changed these. Spit, stop it! Seriously, mate, stop it! Are you actually kidding me? This is illegal. My armor, goodbye! I can say goodbye to my armor! Stop it! Stop it! I can't believe what they've done to them. Wait, in hard mode bunker, they spit non-stop? They actually legitimately spit non-stop. I'm glad that I took another armor, but that's not enough. That's it. We're almost out of armor once again. Whatever. Let's get the equalizer. And let's go a bit forward. I don't even know if we're going to be clearing these rooms. I mean, sometimes you get a chest here. Not always, but hey, occasionally you do get lucky and you get a chest. Let's get something else. I'm going to get that equalizer now. As what if there's going to be another one of those toxic spitters? Alrighty. Yes, there's that to acid melter. Not toxic spitter, but acid melter. Alrighty, I got to just dodge him. Got to dodge, got to dodge, got to dodge. I have no idea what's going on. Acid melter. Well, at least this time the acid melter doesn't spit on me that often. Yo, she's dealt with them. And here go. We're going to go in auto. And I just want to show you something. That you can actually fist punch them. And you can do one damage, but... That's technically nothing. The only way on how you can fight these hard mode laboratory zombies is just with these special Genesis weapons. And for those who don't know where to get these Genesis weapons, you either get you either send packages in the port location to get some crane keys, and inside of the crane keys you can get those special items, those special guns. I highly suggest you leveling up your crane key first and then opening up those crane keys all at once because at maximum level, you'll be able to get those guaranteed equalizers. So that's much more worth it than opening up those uh, crane keys on level one. So upgrade your port location to be able to get better uh, rewards. Also, another way to get those items is by doing simple mode laboratory. In A and B crates, now you get... I, I don't want to say that you get guaranteed Genesis weapons, but they are pretty common right now, in my opinion. I've opened up now a few of those Genesis crates, and I did get some of them back in the days. And when this update came out, they were a bit harder, but now they're a bit more common. Alrighty. It is going to be pretty tough, mate. I'm almost done, so with my equalizer. Alrighty, let's deal some damage to the acid melter. Yes! Yes, yes, we were able to deal with acid melter. Now we just got to deal with these schmucks. And that should be easy peasy lemon squeezy. I can't believe how many guns we are wasting here. We're just blasting all of the weapons that we got here. Oh, buddy, let's deal with another screamer. Goodbye. And sadly, they don't even drop anything. They literally drop nothing. Oh, buddy, I'm going to go through here. And does this place have a chest? I mean, I have no idea. Do we have to open up that room? I don't think there is a chest, so it's pointless to open up that room. I'm not opening it up then. I am not opening up that room. Let's go through over here. I don't think we'll be fighting the Necrotic Hybrid, as I've seen the loot from Necrotic Hybrid is pretty bad. So in my opinion, it's worthless to go and waste your guns on that Necrotic Hybrid. I'd rather go further and proceed further. Uh, another Acid Melter. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Also, a lot of people keep asking me that, hey, Psych, what do you think is harder? The laboratory, like the new hard mode laboratory or Bunker Bravo. And I would still probably say that Bunker Bravo is harder because in the laboratory, there is no time. You can 
take however much time you want to clear this place, but in hard mode laboratory, everything is timed. In hard mode uh, bunker, bravo. It's not hard mode bunker, bravo, but just bunker, bravo. Bunker, bravo is timed. There is that radiation, so you gotta do everything fast. But here you can take your time. You can wall trick if you want. I mean, not really in hard mode bunker because uh, not really in hard mode laboratory. I keep confusing them because you do only one damage here. So you do require to have these other special guns, but hey, when you have them, you do kind of lots of damage. 10 to 25 damage. Sometimes you get crit damage on them. What? I didn't really notice that, but hey, sometimes you get lucky enough and you get crit damage. Alrighty, so let's just roll through this place. And also, we can open up some rooms because sometimes some special rooms are gonna have like those A-plus cards, so they're very, very worth it. Uh, let's open up another door. Let's get ready that there is another acid spitter. No, there is no acid spitter. That's kind of great. Let's deal with the... Where's that guy? Here goes Spore Runner. And behind this other door over here, there is that Necrotic Hybrid. But, as I already said, we're not going to be fighting those Necrotic Hybrids as they are much harder in the hard mode bunker. In the hard mode laboratory, excuse me. And I don't think it's really worth it to go and fight it. Alrighty, here goes. There's the Acid Melter. I'm going to wait here so that it spits. Luckily, I didn't get much damage. Oh no. My weapons are about to break. Here goes another Acid Melter. Hopefully I'll No! Acid stupid melter! Stop it! That's illegal! I'm dead. I'm legitimately dead, ladies and gentlemen. Stop it! Okay, go. Well, at least I dealt with that. At least I dealt with that. Uh, and I'm out of weapons and I'm out of everything I can have here, mate. Uh, I'm gonna hide here behind this wall. I'll try to get another one of those weapons. Well, let's try to deal with a screamer. And what kind of gear can I get from the inbox? I don't really have any gear in the inbox either. I have only this hazmat armor, so I feel like, hey, let's go. Let's take that hazmat armor. I mean, let's put it to use. We got it, like, from those season passes, so we might as well just use it, but... Uh, yeah. Wait, there's also a door over here. Oh, wait, what? What? I've never been to this in this room. Does this room exist everywhere? Or does this room only exist in hard mode laboratory? Can somebody say that? Because I've cleared laboratory God knows how many times. But I have never... I, I was missing a lot with this weapon. I should actually chill a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, I have never seen this room in my entire life. Yeah, I've never seen this room. Whatever, hopefully here we're gonna get like those uh, A-plus cards. Yes, at least something. Let's open that up. We got some anti-rads that we can use for bunker. Bravo, great, but... Yeah... Let's get some more items from this guy. Let's go further. Alrighty, there's gonna be another chest that we can loot. I'm in love with these chests. Also, probably pass perk in hard mode laboratory is very worth it. So, I'll try to get the pass perk ASAP as soon as possible. We gotta get it. We gotta get it, ladies and gents. So, there we're gonna get a bunch of zombies. Let's get ready for another spitter. I'm already running here. I'm gonna wait until the spitter spits. Please tell me that spitter isn't gonna spit again. I tried to dodge that spitter, but again, made another mistake. Let's deal with the Spore Runner, Acid Melter. Here we go, I dealt with Acid Melter. And then I just realized how much durability we lost in that Equalizer because it was missing. Stupid Equalizer. Why does it have to miss? You know what, they're already, these weapons are already rare, but why do they have to miss? Why do these Equalizers have to miss on top of everything? There's another room here and I probably suggest you looting because sometimes here you can get a chest. Well, not this time, apparently. Here we go, was able to dodge that guy. So my goal right now is to deal with that acid melter as soon as possible because it just smells the armor. Okay, guys, acid melter. Goodbye, mate. Goodbye, acid melter. Goodbye, screamer. Oh, and I didn't really mention that, but this laboratory is going to be set in about an hour. So I have an hour to clear this place. And yeah. <laughs> if in one hour I'm not out of this laboratory and I accidentally die here, all of my loot is going to just disappear. So, hey, it is what it is. Here go, we got the pass perk, so let's activate it. I think it's better than nothing. Let's open up this door, though. Oh, I cannot go from there. Are you kidding me? We gotta go all around it. Whatever, before we hop there, I wanna get the pass perk loot. Oh, there's also another acid melter here. I don't even know. I didn't see that acid melter. Well, we got some more items. So check this out, peeps. Let's open up the door. Bam, and let's loot this. I'm just gonna wait until this... Uh, debuff is gonna disappear because we just breathed in some spores and here we are gonna get four of those some pipes and whatever we also got a hard drive 
Alrighty, I like those arch vibes. Let's take that. Let's take that. Also, while we are here, I feel like the wisest thing for us to do is going to be to put those items to Eva. Because as I said, this laboratory is going to reset in about one hour. And if it resets while I'm here, then it's going to be very sad. If I die, everything's going to disappear. So I seriously do not want to risk it. And I'd rather give everything here to Eva. Here we go. We have some of these items here. We got 12 of those. We got some new rewards from her. Let's get another USB. Second chance. We already had like that second chance thing. I don't need it. Expense Genesis storage in the port. Totally don't need that either. So let's drop this hard drive. How many points we get from the hard drive? 30 points. 30 points from the hard drive. And let's drop four of those thing is 60 points and we got another reward from her more storage better than nothing but again the only thing why i want to do this hard mode bunker is just to get this resonator because it says that durability is restored with an energy cell so you can get energy cells and you can restore the durability some people say that you can restore the durability only four times and each time you restore the resonator loses some durability i'm not really sure if that's the case and also i want to get this medicine cabinet hopefully maybe we'll be able to store their 3000 med kits or 3,000 bandages. So technically, it's going to be like one fully upgraded rack because for those who don't know, you can upgrade your rack and store 70 items in one slot. And then you'll be able to store there a bit over 3,000 med kits. So that medical cabinet is going to be like fully upgraded rack. And I cannot wait to get that medical cabinet. So let's go. Let's activate this B sector. And before we go further in the laboratory, I'd like to remind you that there is Sayak merch. You can get this awesome I Hate Summer 250,000 subscriber special shirt. Or you can get I Love Summer if you're in to that so there are also different colored shirts you can get black red green whatever other color you desire so just go to psych.com and there you'll be able to get the merch once again a huge shout out to all of those who've already gotten psych merch thank you for supporting the channel and after you receive your shirt make sure to send me the picture of it on instagram it's so nice to see you guys receiving your shirts so once again thank you for everything and let's continue with the laboratory we gotta go and deal with these scientists well at least this time i didn't get any acid melters so i'll just deal with the groaners with a bunch of slash Ashers. Alrighty, I just, I had to heal up. I didn't even notice that I started losing some health. The grass slasher is going to be easy peasy. Unless I'll get another debuff from him. Here, okay, that's good enough. Are you going to drop anything here? Another A card. So we're at 43 cards. So I think, guys, today is going to be the day when we will open up A plus crate. Which, again, some people are saying that A plus crates are kind of bad. And you know what? I believe you. Oh, no, there's this guy. I hate him so much. I hate the, I hate them with passion. I hate them with passion. Alrighty, I'll just keep damaging them little by little. That's the only option I got here. Toxic Spirits have even more health because of that 15% increased health. That kind of sucks. Alrighty, I'm gonna run away from them. Gotta do some more damage. Gotta heal up fully and my weapon's about to break. My weapon is about to break. Well, I gotta wait until it spits again on me. Let's go. No, no, no. Let's not deal with the Screamer. Oh, no. Toxic Spewer. Here we go. Toxic Spewer just spit on me. Let's get another one of those equalizers. Let's deal with the Toxic Spewer. And sadly, they dropped nothing. Imagine so much work for nothing. Another Toxic Spewer. Yikes. Wait. Am I missing now? Am I missing with this gun? Yeah, I am missing occasionally. So I gotta maybe chill a little bit. Once again, I gotta chillax. Relax. Because my gun is an infinite. We gotta use the most of what we have here. Here go another Toxic Spitter dead and we got nothing from it. Absolutely nothing. Let's get the shotgun. It's not called the shotgun. It's the uh, protector. Protector is kind of nice. I like it. Also over here we might get maybe a chest. Yes, we got a chest. That was worth it. I think it was worth it to open up that room. So maybe let's try to deal with them with the shotgun. Wait, let's deal with the groaner. And let's do some shots with this shotgun. Kind of sad that it doesn't have any special different sound effect you know it sounds like same old shotgun but uh, it's a new weapon it's basically the hard mode shotgun as i call it <laughs> the protector already exploder is gonna explode let's deal with the parasiters and hopefully exploder dropped us something good yes got a card didn't get a hard mode item but that's all right let's loot the chest and inside of this chest we are gonna get uh something reagents and that's it yeah, so we already had 49 of those crates. Uh, 49 of those cards, beautiful. Also, there's one more room that we can open up and maybe here I'll get another chest. So hopefully we'll get a chest in this room. Nope, this time I wasn't lucky. Didn't get a chest here. And I don't even know how we're going to fight the boss there as I don't have a lot of reanimators. And to fight that last boss, you're required to have some good reanimators. You got to have like maybe more than two reanimators. 
Well, Vardy, let's deal with the Screamer. Let's get those cards. And maybe, you know what? I'm going to save those shotguns for the boss. I don't, don't remember how it's called. Like something carrion, MK, whatever. Let's open up here the door. And any toxic spitters. Oh, no. Good, 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 good. No toxic spitters for us. I'm just also interested. How many times will it take me <laughs> to fight with the last boss there? I've seen so many people die. I know that that boss just instantly kills you. And if I could, I'd probably avoid him. But that's the only boss that you cannot really avoid. And yeah, so we will probably fight him. I don't even know if it's worth it to loot this room. I've never seen a chest inside of this room. So I'm not gonna uh, open up that chest yet. Let's deal with this groaner. And I'm slowly but surely losing my weapons. I don't have lots of equalizers left. So I'm trying to slowly shoot these slashers. I tried to not waste my weapon. But I am shooting kind of little by little. Okay, go dealt with this guy. And you know what? Here's shout out to developers for sending 10 equalizers. This way I can make some content for you guys and clear this laboratory in hard mode bunkers. So let's take a couple of equalizers. Well, I was able to take only two equalizers. I think for now that's enough. Let's maybe take one more. And without any further ado, let's continue. There's another room. I want to open it. What if there's a chest? Oh no. Oh no. Waste of... Waste of everything. Waste of everything. Let's deal with the Juggernaut, with the Screamer, and with the Toxic Spewer. Well, at least these guns do a lot of damage. You know what? I'd be much more disappointed if these guns were doing maybe like five damage, right? That'd be that'd be very sad. At least these guns do like good amount of damage. They feel like normal guns, and I kind of like it. So at least that's the only plus that I can think of. Already, we're almost done with the Screamer. Now we got to deal with these Toxic Spewers. Again, I would spam this gun a bit longer, but... As you saw yourself, it starts missing like crazy. Here go more hard mode items. And finally, we have enough of those A-plus crates. I think maybe we had them already like for a few minutes. But hey, doesn't matter. Let's deal with those exploders. With M16s, we can spam because we can get lots of those M16s from... Oh my goodness, I survived! Uh! So yeah, with those M16s, we can spam however much we want because we can get them from Bunker Alpha. But though these guns that I have here, equalizers, are much harder to get. It takes quite a bit of time to gather enough of those hard mode items. So, yeah, I'll go over here. Let's deal with the scientist. So there's a screamer. We can easily probably deal with the screamer. Let's just get another gun. Okay, go. Now we have two equalizers. And hopefully at least I'll be able to clear the A sector. I don't think I'll have enough guns for the B sector. But hey, hopefully I'll have at least enough guns for this A hard mode sector. Uh, let's get the stuff from over here. Let's go a bit, a bit, a bit further. Am I going to get electrified? Nope. Everything's all right. Let's get another one of those equalizers. As I said, I'm saving those protectors for the boss. Let's go here. Let's deal with the slasher. Any spitters here? Ooh, got lucky. I got pretty lucky. No spitters here. Sometimes there are spitters. Not really sure if they spawn in hard mode bunker. But I, none of the spitters here. So this should be pretty easy. We just got to roam around this uh, holograph. And that's it. We'll be able to deal with them easy peasy. And also, for those asking, hey, if laboratory is it worth it, should I clear the laboratory? And the answer is pretty simple. No, do not <laughs> clear the laboratory, especially in Hardwell Bunker, unless you have lots of weapons and you just want to do it. But in my opinion, probably save your equalizer, save all of your Genesis weapons. I would suggest you start gathering them, but don't really do any hard mode laboratories yet. As I feel like maybe in the future developers are going to add some special loot here. Because as of right now, you don't really get anything special inside of this laboratory. So everything feels useless. Everything seems here kind of worthless. So it's probably better to use your guns when the laboratory has better loot. As I said, I'm clearing it here just for the content. So that you guys, so that you guys can see how it's like to clear the hard mode, hard mode laboratory. But hey, we got some more A-plus cards. Very beautiful. Very great. I'll open up this... Uh, past park room and there's another room behind here and i'm thinking should i clear it i mean we could go and clear it we'll get more of those uh, a cards let's go yes we got a chest there beautiful was worth it 100 worth it i'm glad that I opened up that room oh right, so once again my equalizer started missing so i gotta start shooting a bit slower oh buddy exploder just exploded let's deal with those parasiters probably missed a shot here and there we got some more items that's beautiful let's take this and will two reanimators save me i don't know peeps i'm scared i'm scared i feel like we will require more than two reanimators i really doubt we'll be able to survive with only one re with two reanimators whatever let's open up another room but before that let's get another equalizer let's get some more healing items oh no toxic spewer i hate him but hey luckily there weren't a lot of toxic spewers or acid melters in this part of the sector in this part of the laboratory so you know what 
Toxic Spewer here and there isn't the worst thing that has happened to us today. I don't even know if this armor that I have here is gonna be good enough for the boss. Probably the better armor, the, the better. Yeah, maybe I should get different armor for the boss. I'm gonna die here! Woo! Survived, peeps! Survived! Everything was calculated, wasn't even scared. All right, let's deal with these parasiters with this Toxic Spewer. Let's go around this place, let's get these cards, and uh, I feel like, you know what, this hazmat armor isn't really gonna save me from the guy. We have only, like, what, 15 defense? That's nothing. Have I looted this room already? Yes, we've looted it. So I'm gonna go quickly back to the base before we deal with that boss to get a bit different armor, because here yeah, I feel like it's going with this hazmat helmet, and with this hazmat suit, it's gonna be quite stupid. But hey, before we do this, let's drop all of these items to Eva. Let's go, boom. That's still not enough. Here we go. We got another reward from her, so we are at level 5. What are we gonna get here? A random thread blocker. Alright. What did we get here? Vitality. Uh, not sure what that does, but okay, we got something. And also, while we're here at the base, I'd like to go and cook this recipe. I don't really know how it's called, but it's fish mix, right? So it increases armor. It's kind of dope. We're gonna get plus 10 armor, so let's cook this. Let's skip it. So yeah, we'll have more armor for 13 minutes. Hopefully, that'll be enough to fight the boss. So without any further ado, let's just eat this fish buff. So now we have 48 defense with this Kevlar armor. I still feel that boss is just gonna one-shot us. Also, I don't wanna fail you guys, so I just bought three extra reanimators let's go let's take those three reanimators so now in total we should have five reanimators i have here a couple of equalizers i have these protectors and i guess let's just go and let's deal with that boss oh and before we do this let's also open up a plus crate let's go let's do this peeps this is the first time where we're gonna open up a plus hard mode laboratory crate whatever you want to call it and inside of the crate, we are gonna get two guns, two simple guns, and at least another protector. Yeah, I guess that's kind of cool. Let's go. Let's take that protector. And uh, maybe let's take this neutralizer. It's fine. I'm pretty sure when we die from that guy, we don't lose anything. Sadly, I didn't get any extra reanimators. Well, it is what it is. So for those who don't know how that reanimator works, basically, as soon as you die, you're gonna get back to your full health. So technically, you don't even die. You just stay in the same spot where you were. The screen is just gonna flash white, and that's it. So if I succeed to kill this boss on the first try, I'm gonna be very happy. Again, I do have an advantage of knowing how this boss works, because if you went to fight this boss without knowing how it works, then obviously there's almost no way you'd be able to kill him on your first try but hey, i brought some reanimators let's already use one of those reanimators and check this out when we go to the temporary buffs it says that we have the reanimator it's gonna last for four hours also the fish buff is disappearing so without any further ado let's just go peeps i'm ready in case something happens i'll take another reanimator i'm just trying to practice boom boom good enough let's go let's go if i die i die ladies and gents if i die i die that is the sacrifice i'm willing to make let's go let's start shredding him with this Alrighty, I must- I was supposed to heal up. Heal, schmuck! He still does lots of damage with this. I'm so glad that we got the Kevlar armor and the fish buff. I'm so glad that we got that. I'm so glad that we got that. Can you please stop? Can you please stop stomping me? What's annoying the most is whenever he stomps. Alrighty, back- No! So we gotta go and use another reanimator here now because he can once again do that blasting attack. I kind of don't like that. Let's go, another shot. Couldn't escape him. Couldn't really escape him properly. Alrighty, couldn't escape him here once again. Go on, mate, start shooting him. Alrighty, so he's gonna do that another attack. Here we go, got another reanimator. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What is going on? I'm also losing some first aid kits, but hopefully that is going to be enough. Let's heal up once again to full health. So he again did this. How did I get the electrical damage from him? I have no idea. How did I get that electrical damage? Stop stopping me! Let me go! Here we go. A few more shots. We should be able to deal with them. Kind of sad that I wasted that one first aid kit. Here we go. Let's heal up. Heal up, mate. Another shot! Danzo! We dealt with him, ladies and gents! Somehow, way, I had to use three reanimators. I'm so glad that I bought those. Wait, we used four reanimators. Wow, I thought we used only three. We used four reanimators. I'm so glad that we bought three of those reanimators. And the loot from the boss is very underwhelming. As you can see, we got only four of those cards and a little bit of those items. I don't even know if it's worth it. But again, you got to deal with this boss if you want to open up B-plus crates. But hey, let me tell you that those B-plus crates that we can get inside of here are completely useless. 
You're not gonna get anything great in those B plus crates either. Well, we gotta fill up the bioreactor. And you know what? I kind of have enough of seaweed to fill it up once, right? Yes, indeed, we filled it up. So let's go. Let's talk to Eva here once again. Let's drop her all of the hard mode items that we've gotten for those. And that's it. Wait, that's it? Wow, that, that's that's very disappointing. That's sad. I'd love to go to the B sector, but the laboratory is gonna be sent in like 20 minutes or something. I am gonna die. I'll lose everything, so I'd rather bring this loot back to the base. So, hey, let's just check it out my dead island. Let's play. Click on the second card and I'll go to my days gone. Let's play. Hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely be sure to jump the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm hmm. Yep.